Eve was the first person to practice self-salvation. She was the first person on earth who tried to save herself. We are going to take a look at the very beginning of the Bible and the first sin that was ever committed to try to learn why we sin and how we can fight it. For much of my life, I identified Eve's temptation as the root of Eve's sinful action. However, we must look at the whole narrative of Genesis 1-3 to if we are going to understand humanity's first sin. What we will uncover when we do is that trying to save yourself or self-salvation is not only the root cause of the first sin, but of every sin. Let's start with this common question. Why did God give Adam and Eve commands at all when he put them in the garden? Why did he say, do this about some things and do not do that about other things? What will help make sense of these seemingly arbitrary rules to not eat fruit from a certain tree is seeing that the rule itself was a part of a larger agreement called the Edenic Covenant, or more simply, the covenant made between God and man in Eden. When God put Adam and Eve in Eden, he established a covenant with them, which is a divine agreement between God and man. And covenants are important because they tell us how we, as small, sinful humans, can be allowed to relate to God, an infinite and perfect spirit. Though the word covenant is not necessarily used in the opening chapters of Genesis, all the expected elements of a biblical covenant are present. The parties are clearly identified, God and Adam. The conditions of the relationship are set. God is the creator commander and Adam is the obedient creature. And if Adam obeys the creator, a blessing is promised, which is life. And if he disobeys, a curse is promised, death. And then finally, the conditions for obedience are set. He is to be fruitful and multiply, have dominion over the earth, and eat of every tree except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I want you to notice, too, that God's command came after he had graciously given Adam and Eve life and the garden and his nearness. Grace came before the rules. God did not have to communicate with his creatures. He didn't have to establish a relationship with humans above all other created beings. He did not have to plant a tree of life in the garden. He did not have to call mankind blessed or very good, but he did. This is a gracious covenant. If Adam and Eve obey God as he has commanded them, they will be granted an eternally blessed life for them and their children. This would be achieved by God allowing them to eat from the fruit of the tree of life. Now, this fruit was not magical, but it was a sign and a guarantee to them that God would sustain their lives in eternal bliss with him. All they had to do was enjoy the garden the way God intended. Enjoying God's goodness in the garden would have kept them from the forbidden tree. But as we will see, Adam and Eve went to the one tree they were not supposed to go to. <laughs> they went there because they thought they could find something in this tree that they couldn't find in the rest of the garden. They stopped enjoying God and his garden. And this caused them to doubt God's provision. It caused them to try to provide for themselves and seek the good apart from God. And this is where sin comes from. When we stop enjoying the grace and the gifts of God, our hearts will seek out anything else to satisfy us. Now we as Christians, we have a new covenant in Christ and it is better than the covenant of Eden. In fact, the covenant of Eden foreshadowed it. And this new covenant is far better because Jesus kept all the conditions for us. Even though we, like Adam and Eve, broke the commands of God and earned the penalty of death, Jesus has taken that penalty of death that we earned so that we can stay in covenant relationship with God. We went to the tree of knowledge of good and evil and earned death for ourselves. So Jesus went to the cross to die, turning it into our new tree of life. And as we will see as we walk through this study, the surefire way to fall into sin is to forget this good news, to stop reveling in it and enjoying it. If we stop enjoying what God has provided in the garden of the gospel, it is certain that we will run to the forbidden tree of sin. Conversely, 
the more we rejoice in all the blessings we have in Christ who kept the covenant for us, the more our hearts will be rewired to never want to take a single step toward the tree of knowledge because of how good the fruit tastes from the tree of life. Hey, my name is David Bowden with Spoken Gospel. It's the vision of Spoken Gospel to speak the gospel out of every corner of scripture. And you just saw one of the teaching sessions inspired by my upcoming book, Rewire Your Heart. You can order that book by clicking a link here. Uh, also, this is a part of a whole reading plan. There's actually four sessions of which this is the first. If you wanna find that reading plan on the YouVersion Bible app, you can click here. We would also invite you to come and support our ministry and to find out how you can do that, you can click right up there. And we also invite you to subscribe so you can see all the videos that we're releasing.